Crystal Palace were hushed to sack Frank de Boer so early in the season but if West Ham did the same to Slave and Billick it would NT be the same story. Roy Hodgson. There has been plenty of criticism aimed at Crystal Palace for the sacking of Frank de Boer as manager after just four matches in charge and replacing him with Roy Hodgson. De Boer did lose all four of those games as he tried to implement a possession-based 343 system, but the argument is the Eagles board should have known what the Dutchman's footballing ideals were and therefore not giving him time to try and achieve them is a worse reflection on them than it is on him. Frank De Boer, the former manager of Crystal Palace. On the surface it would therefore seem equally harsh were West Ham United to sack Slaven Bilic at a similarly early point in the new season, with the Sun reporting the 49-year-old is the odds and favourite to be the next Premier League boss to be given the boot. However, there is a very different set of circumstances at the London Stadium in comparison to Selhurst Park. For starters, Bilic has been in his job since the summer of 2015 and has therefore had time to put his own stamp on the hammers. That first campaign the East Londoners finished 7th in the table, qualifying for Europe and only champions Leicester City 3, Tottenham Hotspur 6 and Arsenal 7 lost fewer than their total of 8 matches that term. At the time Billock was heralded as a brilliant coach, but unfortunately since then the wheels have started to fall off. West Ham United manager Slaven Billock it is simplistic to say, but Dimitri Payet did play a huge part in West Ham's success and without the Frenchman as the focal point to build the team around, the Croatian has looked lost. During their opening three defeats to Manchester United 40, Southampton 32 and Newcastle United 30, Billock's side looked like there was no clear plan or tactical shape and to be honest the 20 victory glosses over the fact it was a similar story in the last outing against Huddersfield Town as well. See also senior players send clear message to West Ham owners over Slave and Billock Robert Snodgrass revealing to Sky Sports that on his debut for the Hammers the manager did not know where to play him hints at that lack of tactical nous, although this was admittedly coming from a player who had just left for Aston Villa on loan having been told he was surplus to requirements. Yet essentially it is there for all to see and whereas De Boer had a clear idea, but which he wasnt implementing for whatever reason, Billock just seems to be out of ideas altogether.